Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Subnautica. Now, you may not be able to hear it, but if you listen closely, you can hear the screams of hell from where we are, because we're currently down in the inactive lava zone, or as I have recently discovered, the very active lava zone with a lot of living creatures and a lot of horrible monstrosities. And we're gonna get to that in just a second, um, but I wanted to point out, I'm currently running out of space for these lockers, so I know I wanted to build a locker for every single one of these, but I actually don't have any more titanium, and and in order to get some, I would have to go back up to the surface, and I'm not going to waste you guys' times with that. So I'm going to read four names instead of just a normal three. So first up is Gretchen Wenther, who said, I'm watching this to unwind and relieve stress after taking the ACT today. Love you, Mark. You always help cheer me up. So thank you so much, Gretchen, for watching. I'm really glad that these videos can make you a little bit happier after some stressful testing. And to follow up that really nice comment, uh, Shorty Plays one says, Mark, you need to try to scan the Sea Dragon Leviathan without being attacked like this so he sees this. That is, by and far, the worst idea I have ever heard in the history of Subnautica, and if you actually want me to do that, you don't care about my well-being at all! But okay, I'll try my best for you! Next up is Dinnerbone, uh, who said, Mark, I'm so proud of you. Watching the series, I have watched a bitchy baby boo develop into a less bitchy man. Keep up the good work. Thank you for that, Dinnerbone. I I'd like to think that I've replaced my bitch baby nature with a more complainy type of nature uh, that doesn't actually help anything while I'm down here, but makes me feel better. And last up is Galaxy Ghost, who says, if you hear recurring chirping inside a powered vehicle, that means you probably have a lava larva, larva attached. Which... I'm not sure if those sounds are a lava larva, but it's also m creatures that I don't want to hear. The weird material in the lava zone is kyanite. You must have had something bugged with your game because you should be able to mine that. Okay, so that's good to know. I, I don't know what to do about it now, though. Uh, and then three, next time put a condom on Big Box Berry. Hey, I, I'd like to think that's not my job to personally do that sort of stuff, but I'll I'll have the sex talks with Big Box Barry and uh, the responsibility he needs to take as a father from now on. So, as you can see, oh, hey, oh, the weird creature. I don't know what you are, and I don't know why you're here. Are my lights even on? Oh, there we go. Now I can't see anything still. Okay, but. What I need to do, before I go any further in here, I know you guys are dying to see the lava dragon, but I passed the alien research lab. I need to get to that because the story is paramount for this. If I don't do that, and I'm not entirely sure where I am, by the way, I'm a little bit lost, but I'm gonna try my best to turn this 180 degrees back around and just stick my ass back through the crevices that I dragged it through, and I'm killing creatures on the way, and just get back Oh, What is that? Is that a lava ray? Oh, you're beautiful! You're beautiful! To me. Oh boy. I don't like that at all. With my luck, I'm gonna run smack dab into the very center of the dragon, and I'm actually going deeper into this hellhole and, uh, not at all coming out of it, and I never will, and I'll never see anybody ever again, and all my- Hey, you gonna s Oh, good. Get wrecked, bitch. Okay, this seems to be generally kind of upwards, so I'm gonna- I'm gonna assume that this is the way I came. Although you know what they say about assumptions. They lead you directly into the mouth of a sea dragon leviathan that wants to eat you whole, and even if- even if everyone tells you that it can't damage your big giant cyclops, Something tells me that it's still gonna try to eat me dead, and I'm gonna be dead when I get eaten, but not for a while, but until I pass through its digestive tract. Then I'll be dead. Somewhere in the actual river, not in the lava zone, but in the river, there's another alien base that requires this orange artifact. And what I've been told, I haven't looked this up to confirm this, but what I've been told, and the reason I need to find that alien base is because I need to use my orange artifact to get in there, and then I need to huh, get another artifact from there to be able to use it to unlock the lava zone one. So I can't progress without it, so that's why I have to backtrack, and here is... Uh, 
Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, this isn't the tree, but this is the forest where the tree was. So, I... Yee. I will be back when I find it. And trust me, I know what I'm doing when it comes to getting lost. So you can account on me being gone for quite a- Sorry! For quite a while. So I'll be right back. Oh, mama bomba. Oh, man, this still blows my mind that this is all here. I mean, I know it shouldn't. Because it's a game. But even so, God. I just can't help but imagine that there's stuff like this hidden down in our own oceans. Because we can only map as far as radar and sonar will allow us to see the ground floor. What if there's underwater, under, under the floor of the ocean cave systems just like this? Miles and miles below, penetrating into the crust of the earth. And there's just weird, disturbing life that lives down there. There's a, there's a horrifying thought, and I don't want to think about it too much, but it's a possibility because we don't know! Who knows? Does anything know? The things that get eaten by those things know. I don't know what's over here. It might be something. What is that? Ooh, is that it? What is that? Okay, ah. Well, this is something. Okay, this is definitely something. This looks like Precursor, but it looks derelict. And crashed, and just... Kinda... Kinda not doing so good if I had to venture a guess. Whoa, how did I miss this? This was just around the corner. The plateau just before you drop down into the brain tree thing. If you take a corner that's kinda like, off to the side, is this a- is this an entrance? No, that is not an entrance. Okay. So. What are we dealing with here? Is it- is this the thing that I was looking for? Question mark. I'm gonna assume that it is. And my- MY the gravitational pull feels weird here. Okay, so there's gotta be a way in. I think my best be Is that me crashing into something or something crashing into me? I don't know which option I want more. But I think this might be what I'm looking for, because otherwise, why would there be a giant precursor installation here, as derelict as it might be? So I'm gonna- ooh. Hey, Warper Buddy! Oh, okay, alright then. Well, I'm gonna go down there and I'm gonna see what I can- what I can do about this. Let me just eat up before I go down. I've got my orange artifact on me, and I've got, more importantly, my Keep Calm Kitty poster, which is definitely gonna keep me brave and calm in the face of sure death. Which I- I think I'm gonna find. Wow. Things look a lot- a lot bigger once you're out of the Cyclops and actually on the ground here. Ooh, boy. Oh, mamba jamba, what are you? I'm just checking the sides first before I go on the top or around the bottom. I just want to be thorough about this and give a sweeping search. It's like some kind of a skeleton down there? Yeah, that's not- that's not machinery, though. Ooh. Something's not happy with me being down here. But... Yeah, that's definitely a skeleton of some sort, and we've got just <sighs> looks like just a kind of a hole there, but not a way in. Oh, this guy's trapped down here. That must have been what the shiny thing was I saw. All right, let's keep moving. Keep him around the sides. Yeah, because it's got a lot of damage. I don't know what would have caused this damage besides like internal power failure causing explosions and whatnot, but. Something happened here, and it's... It, whatever it is, is not friendly. Okay. So I've looked pretty much on every side of this thing. It doesn't seem like there's an entrance right now. The big docking bay that I would have guessed to be an entrance seems to be closed off, so I'm just gonna assume... Jesus, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. I'm just gonna assume that all is right in the world, and... I can move on with my search for this thing, and this is not what I'm looking for, even though it looks definitely like what I'm looking for. Because I, I checked every side of that thing, and... Whoa. Wait a minute. Okay, maybe I didn't, because holy shit! Uh, how did I not see this? What the fuck is that? What is- is that unfinished textures? Really? No way! 
How did I, how did I miss that, number one? I'm just gonna go out. I gotta go out in the suit. How did I miss that? Okay, I almost missed that. I was just about ready to give up. Holy shit, let me in there. What the fuck? Okay, I found... Alrighty then, I found what appears to be an unfinished area. It's untextured. And just kind of here. What the heck is this? Is that a map? Or is that what they look like? It's just an interpretive art. That's uh, graffiti, that's what it is. Whoa. There's like glowing walls that- Whoa, what the frick is that? Hello? What the hell? Is that like a- Is that like an aquarium in there? Whoa, the inside of this is an aquarium. What the hell? I mean, I know this is unfinished, so, like, none of this has all of its polish, but... Wait, that's... This is... Is that an entrance to it? Should I go in there? Oh, some sort of medical bay? Where they were studying something? Holy shit. What the fuck is this? Where am I? I- I'm literally in an observation area inside. Is this where... I think this is the unfinished place where the precursor researchers were studying the... The- not the sea dragon, but the sea emperor. Unless this is where the sea dragon was and in its escape destroyed the facility, which might be totally plausible. I have no idea, but this is so weird. I mean, I, obviously, this isn't what I'm looking for. This isn't where I use the orange artifact because this is unfinished. Now, I know for a fact that the, uh, the other one is part of the main game right now. But this is still fascinating to see. Hey, no, 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 no. Come on. Don't be ridiculous. Come on. Get me in there. shoopity whoop Okay. So, that's, that's fascinating. So, that's either the place where the sea dragon leviathan was held or... It's the place where the Sea Emperor will eventually be held. And that's cool. That is crazy cool. But either way, I think I'm in the wrong place to get what I need for this. There's a lot of skeletons just buried down. And I can only assume that the Precursors were exploring this area and trying to find stuff out about the, the, the animals that lived here. Something went wrong, and they died, so... God, but what's so fascinating is there's still that giant skeleton. The humongous skeleton. The enormous skeleton just laying out in the main area. And what the hell was that, too? That is a creature that existed on this planet. So in this world, in their prehistoric times, <laughs> they don't even have written history, but... Before them came enormous creatures. Just enormous creatures. How terrifying was that entire reality? How horrifying was all of that? I cannot imagine. I don't want to imagine. I will, I will nevertheless continue to imagine because I can't help myself now because that's buried in my brain. But hopefully, hopefully. We don't have to meet any of those creatures in our lifetime. Maybe. Hey. And welcome back. Welcome back, you may be saying, but where are we now? Oh. Well, that's different. Anyway, there are some changes now because it's a good thing I actually looked up before I spent an hour searching like I did the last time. Uh, the alien cache, or the precursor cache that the orange artifact is necessary for, wasn't in the live version of the game, it was in the experimental version. So, I saved... It's located in a place called the... the... the Ghost Canyon, I, I believe it's called? I'm not 100% sure. It's, it's in the Ghost Canyon or something to that effect. I'm not 100%. And you may notice that there's some slight differences here. One, you got the translucent douchebags floating around. I don't mean to call you douchebags. I I'm assuming you're very nice. Very nice, perfectly normal creatures of the deep that I, I don't like very much. But also, 
I'm literally in a place that I just saved and then loaded up, and I think I see it. Yes, I do! Hi, Smiley Jim! Oh boy, you are terrifying. Whoa! Hey, oh, crab squids, that's new. Oh, no. But anyway, so if you go in the, the, the Ghost Canyon, which is the main place that I just went to- Go away! Don't even think about it! Yeah, it can't affect me. My Cyclops is nigh invulnerable. Alright, you do whatever you feel like, but if you go in the Ghost Cannon, normally you take a right to go down to the giant skeleton, but in the experimental version, right here- Oh, that's loud. Right here, there's the entrance to this weird creature that apparently this- this creature right here was strange enough that the precursors set up an entire lab dedicated just to studying this thing. Now you know they dedicated resources to studying things like the Sea Dragon Leviathan and I am now stuck on it, which is great! Can I keep moving? Oh, why am I stuck on this? Hey, come on! Let me go, I gotta move further down! Okay, either way, but I think this is it. Mild dehydration. Oh, yada yada yudi yada yodi 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 yodi. So I did I did waste quite a bit of time looking around for this thing. And I apologize for that. I'm trying to do my best here. Let me just pop out the batteries because I need to swip swap them over. Okay, oh, these are nice and black. Charred. Have they been burnt? Oh boy. Alright, this one. Uh, are we not up to full power? Is it using them spread evenly in the experimental version? Oh, hello. Okay, you go there. You go there. Alright, we should be up to full-ish. Man, I've got a lot of... A lot of duds here. Okay, good enough. Okay, so, now that I got that, I'm gonna take Mr. Fister out with me into this place for as long as I need to use Mr. Fister. Ooh, hey. Oh, man. That is weird. It's like, it reminds me of something from StarCraft, like one of the Zerg things. I, I think from Brood War, the thing that shot little scarabs out. No, that was the Protoss. Ah, I don't know my- don't know my StarCraft anymore, but is something here is- ah, there it is. Okay. So this should be the terminal, and that means I'm gonna save, and I'm saving in the experimental version, which might ruin my save entirely. I haven't backed it up, but I'm committed to continuing in the experimental mode because this is where all the crazy stuff can happen, but I'm gonna save, because boy howdy am I weird. Plop that bad boy down in there! Oh yeah, I almost wasted all of my time. Alright, open up for me! Ooh, what is this? Ooh! Oh. What dramatic music you seem to be playing for some strange reason. Oh, okay. Ugh. Alrighty then. So there's some kind of bone, the alien bone specimen case. Oh, that sounds horrifying. I'll re- I'll get a good read of that one. Oh. So they were just as curious as I was about these bones, only they decided to actually take them with them. And then the ghost of the horrible monstrosity followed them and murdered them all. Okay. These fossils likely came from an ancient ancestor of the Leviathans which inhabit the planet today. Hey, that's- that's ex actually exactly what I guessed, isn't it? I'd like to think so anyway. But hey. Oh, it's that weird map thing again. Okay. Fauna reproductive data. Ooh, I bet that's an enticing read. Okay. This terminal contains extensive data on the reproductive methods of the local fauna. Fauna on the planet evolved with a single gender capable of both egg laying and insemination. Eggs once laid usually require genetic material from a second individual to reach maturity. In rare cases, there is only one true parent. With evolutionary mutation introduced by the effects of the environment itself on the delicate genetic structure of the child. Researcher appears to have been focused around hatching conditions and genetic variations between parent and child. This is consistent with the theory that the aliens were invested in manipulating the life cycle of the local species to their ends. Why though? Why though? Why did they do this? Why? I mean, there's a lot of questions like for research that we humans do and we're just like, I don't know, because we felt like it. I don't know, because we were bored. I don't know, because we wanted dabbled with powers beyond our control. You know, something along those lines. But man, this is just weird. All this stuff. Oh, alien research equipment. Hell yeah. I want to know about their probing table. That'd be nice. No, I already got the data. How about you? You guys hear that? Ooh. 
Okay. All right then. I'm gonna. I'm gonna assume that that means well. Ugh. Okay. These local flora are being held in stasis. The aliens evidently sought an extensive knowledge of the plant's ecosystem. The large laboratory table and accompanying scanners incorporate technologies far beyond our current level of understanding. Hypothesis: equipment maintenance, staff maintenance, specimen analysis, spe specimen gene manipulation. Boy, these these aliens sure did like their genetic manipulation, which is awfully nice of them. Uh, can they do some manipulation on me to make me not so terrified of everything down here? That'd be nice. Excuse me. Abduct me, please. Mothership. Oh, sorry. I always get the wrong hole. Oh, that guy's definitely. Ooh. That guy's all kinds of, uh. Kinds of dupe. Alright, so anyway. Now that I'm in the experimental mode, I can actually do something that a lot of people were recommending to me, but I couldn't do, which was scan myself. Before self scan, the bacterial infection in your system has progressed. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify a bacterial strain. Okay. So if I take my glove off now, what am I gonna see? What bumped up against me? No, nothing so far. I am infected though. So that's good to know. Great! I'm super infected. Whoopity whoopity doo. But anyway, we found that, so unlike what I assumed, we did not get another key. But now that we're in the experimental mode, we should see a lot more changes progressing more quickly as we go down into the deep. Alright, so we finally found that and we discovered some interesting things about these creatures. And this is indeed a prehistoric remnant of the Leviathan species. I'm really happy. High concentration of organic and fossil. I'm really happy that those big ones aren't around anymore, but knowing the precursors, were they trying to resurrect that lost species for their own ends? Were they trying to use something about them to benefit their species in general? A and it, it's weird that they would, considering that the precursors are such an obviously technologically advanced species, why would they need to? They're able to genetically manipulate pretty much anything, including their own species. So why would they need to? But sadly, I am actually all out of time and taking a big dip over here. I know it seems like I'm just not showing you guys everything that I intend to, but I've made a promise that I was going to go through this, uh, this time I was playing through again calmly and collectively, and we keep discovering amazing new things. And I love every second of that because every single time I go into this game, I'm surprised. Every single thing I meet, I'm surprised, and I love that feeling of surprise. I do. I love it. I love knowing that around every single corner is something new and horrifying that I haven't discovered yet, and yet I keep plowing forward despite my brain telling me not to, so it's still fun. And I hope you guys are enjoying it too. I'll get that back down to the inactive lava zone and hopefully the kyanite will actually work, and then I can utilize that uh, in addition to the other materials that are down there to hopefully upgrade my my, uh, Mr. Fister, who's going to take me down to the very deepest parts of the inactive lava zone. But we'll get there soon, so thank you everybody so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!